Alright guys, uh, today I got a video for you. Um, this is going to be on my Nexus 7 and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, multi-boot um, Ubuntu, if I say that correctly. I'm not sure if I did, uh, but I will show it to you and we're going to be able to multi-boot this on boot up. Uh, make sure you've already done my last video which is on how to install uh, multi-ROM recovery and make sure you've already done those steps once you've done those steps you can go ahead and do these steps so let's kind of get into it so first thing we're going to do is we're going to shut off well first of all let me just show you this really quick we are running on this just so you're aware um, right here Android Jelly Bean which is Android 4.2.1 this does have an unlocked bootloader uh, also have videos on that if you're looking for how to do that um, and I do have root access on this. You don't necessarily need root access to do what I'm doing, but I do have it. Um, so, we're going to power off the device and reboot the device. Um, and since I have multi-ROM installed, you will see the um, recovery system boot up, or I should say the multi-ROM interface boot up as soon as you do this. So, let's just go ahead and boot up here. So, let's take a second. So we're going to power on, and like I said, multi-ROM interface is going to come up because you've already installed this from my last video, and what we're going to do once the multi-ROM interface comes up is we're going to go into recovery mode. So to do that, this is your multi-ROM interface. If you have multiple ROMs, you're going to have other things to say besides internal, like right here it's going to say something, so on, so on, of ROMs you can select to boot, and then you would push the blue button down here at the bottom. But we're going to go ahead and flash something. Also, if you have a ROM on a USB drive with multi-ROM, you can actually go to USB location, find it, and boot it from the USB, which is pretty neat. So we're going to go to mis uh, miscellaneous here, and we're going to tell it to reboot to recovery. So it's going to reboot the device into Torp Recovery, which is multi-ROM's version of Torp Recovery. Because it's open source, they have used their source and then just added in the multi-ROM stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to advanced. Right now anything you would do in Twerp Recovery would just change your stock system, which is your basic Android system. But we want to add a ROM or we want to add Ubuntu, if I say that correctly again. Sorry if I didn't. And what we're going to do is we're going to go right to here where it says multi-ROM. We're going to click on multi-ROM. And then we're going to go to this one and say add ROM. And then here's your options up here. So it says choose ROM type Android or Ubuntu. So I'm going to say Ubuntu. All right. And then it says internal memory, which is what I want to use. So I'm going to hit next. This is going to take up about, um, I think, a gig and a half of your internal memory. So if you have an 8 gig, it's going to take up a little bit of space. I have a 16. It's not too bad. Um, you're going to have to go ahead and download this file right here. I'll give you links to everything in my video description down below, so it won't be bad. But you're going to have to have download this file already and have it on your device. I put it in a file called Multi-ROM so I can keep track of it. But this right here is your um, RAR pre-installed desktop of Ubuntu for the Nexus 7. Um, and also before you flash this, make sure that you have flashed already, which you'd see in my last video which is the Kexic kernel for Android version 2. Point, I mean 4.2.1 so make sure that's already done like I said last video if you follow the directions you're right with me um, so basically all we're going to do is we're going to select that and then we're going to swipe across to confirm the install so this is going to take I'm going to say probably maybe even up to 10 minutes because we're putting in a file here an operating system that's way bigger than an Android operating system. So I'm just going to pause here, let this thing run through. Um, like I said, probably could take up to 10 minutes to do this. So I'm just going to let it go through and then we'll come back once it finishes installing. All right, well, as you can see here, uh, Ubuntu uh, installed successfully right there. And it just says to go back. So we're going to go back and then we'll go back again and back out of this even and one more time and we get back to your main screen here um, so everything should be installed correctly now that you have uh, 
Ubuntu installed so we're going to reboot the device and we're going to do reboot system so this should reboot and again we should go to our multi-ROM interface screen here which gives us to choose what we want to boot up okay so here you go we're, we're in multi-ROM interface and as you can see internal is checked because that would be your Android stock operating system but I'm going to try check this one right here which is the name of the Ubuntu ROM which is Raring Preinstall Desktop so what we're going to do is we select it and then we just hit boot on the bottom and it is now preparing to boot this up now from what I understand this takes um, a long time so you, you, I think this thing takes up to 10 to what did it say on here at least 10 minutes or longer to boot up the first time as you can see it, it's doing some stuff here on, on the device um, so we're just gonna let this thing run through and once it gets its stuff figured out we will continue oh there we go there's Ubuntu again that's pretty cool so just gonna let this thing install uh, once I get to a screen after it's done kind of doing its first thing I'll turn my camera back on here for you guys alright so this is gonna be your next screen now you can see your graphics are kinda of jacked up behind the screen but this is just where it goes to so once it boots up it gets to this screen so you're just gonna hit English and hit continue or whatever language you want um, so let's just see where it does this again this is my first time doing this so we'll see how this works um, so now it's gonna say do you want to connect to Wi-Fi um, right now connect to this so we're gonna select my Wi-Fi signal and then we're gonna hit con oh password I'm gonna put my password in here alright I put my password in it's gonna try to connect to my Wi-Fi at my house here which it did connection established you can see that so I think we can hit continue so now we have a connection as you can see up here there is a bunch of little icons up here on the screen which is kinda neat alright so it says Chicago so I'm gonna say yeah that's where I'm at so we're just gonna hit the continue button or wherever you're at it might find you you might have to pick it on the screen by touching the screen so now I gotta put my name and my password in so I'll cut this out but I'm gonna do this alright so it's uh, installing system is what it says right now so it's installing so it says welcome to Ubuntu 12.10 so it's configuring and it's allocating it's got this little percentage bar on the bottom I'm gonna let that go through and then we'll come back to it alright that install uh, configuration window just went away and I'm sitting on this screen I don't know what's going to happen here so just trying to be patient applying changes that's interesting and do we have a screen? Uh, I have a black screen, did it turn off? what's it doing here? Uh huh. I'm waiting. Let's see what happens. Voila! After about a minute of a uh, black screen, we uh, have our interface. Look at that. It is beautiful. So, let's see what we got here really quick. Um, we got your Firefox uh, web browser here. I think it should load up probably everything's probably still just kinda trying to orient itself right now so let's just see what we got okay so there you go there's Firefox and there's your keyboard and everything now I'm gonna try this just to see if it works to see how much more friendly this can be this is what I've got to try to interface with this thing I have an OTG cable which you can get off Amazon or eBay for about two bucks and I have my uh, wireless keyboard little chip so we're gonna plug this sucker in I don't know if this is going to work right off the bat after there's going to have to be some settings done but let's just see what we got alright so that is plugged in and I have my uh, oh there we go sorry Mbuto what does this say uh, experiencing some difficulties collecting problem information I don't know if it has to do with my OTG cable or what's going on but let's just see really quick if my keyboard see keyboard if it works 
right off the bat. Oh, look at that. It does. At least, at least the mouse does. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what other things we have in here. Settings up here. Let's see what this is. Alright, some preferences. We got... Okay, yeah, your normal stuff here. Your shutdown, all that kind of goodies. You got your Wi-Fi stuff here. All that stuff. Um, system settings. We can click on that one. And let's see what it gives us. So you got your system settings. It's kind of annoying. This keyboard keeps coming up. I might have to adjust something on here to get rid of that. I'll figure that out later. But here you go. You got your printers, your US, you know, your Bluetooth, you know, basically all of your Ubuntu uh, stuff. Here is Ubuntu One, which is a cloud service for Ubuntu. So Ubuntu, if I'm saying that right again, sorry if I'm not. Uh, so you can use that, which is pretty sweet. Just install that on your computer and. You know, transfer stuff that way. Software Center, all this, all these goodies on here. Power options, yeah, the same appearance things for your, uh, yeah, screen savers and wallpapers and all that, all that kind of good stuff on here. So there you go, guys. That is the install of Ubuntu, Ubuntu on the Nexus 7. Um, Pretty sweet, pretty cool. Again, OTG cable and a wireless keyboard works awesomely on it. I don't know all how well this thing runs or what all the features of it are. I think this is like a beta release, so it's not a full supported release of this thing, but still really cool, awesome to play with. Here's an Amazon application. I'm sure you can download all your other Linux op operating uh, programs on this thing if you want, which is pretty awesome. So check it out. Hey, I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up on it. Um, as always, you can subscribe down below. Check out my uh, website right here, Twitter, or Facebook. Um, so I hope you like it. Stay tuned. I'll be showing you how to do more stuff with multi-ROM and maybe some more on Linux once I play with it myself for a while. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.